Welcome to the Viking Tools for Revit. In this video, we'll be loading a sprinkler family into our Revit model using the Viking Sprinkler Selector application. I am using Revit 2019 for this example. Select the Viking tab from the Revit ribbon and the Viking Tools ribbon will display. Our ribbon is organized into four category sections, including families, tools, utilities, and information. From the tools category, select the sprinkler selector icon. The sprinkler selector application is activated and we can begin the selection of the desired sprinkler to load into the project. On the left of the dialog are the filters to allow you to quickly minimize the list of sprinklers to choose from. For this example, I want to select a light hazard sprinkler, extended coverage. Notice that the list has been reduced from over 4,000 options to less than 300 with just a simple selection. Next, select the orientation of pendant and the list continues to shrink. Now we select the finish of white polyester and the temperature of 135 degrees and the list is now down to five part numbers that meet this filtering requirement. After reviewing the options, I now select the VK608 as this is the sprinkler that I want to use for this section of the project. When I select the VK608, I get the details of that specific sprinkler and I can now go directly to the data sheet for that sprinkler. The data sheet is loaded directly from the Viking website and is always current. Scrolling through the data sheet, I can see some specific dimensions that I will need for my sprinkler. In this case, I'm looking at the deflector distance below the ceiling for a recessed escutcheon. I see that the range is from 1 and 8 inch to 2 inches. I'll use this information to properly elevate my sprinkler in my model. Now that I am satisfied that this is the sprinkler I need, I select the Load Family icon and that specific sprinkler is now loaded into my project model. We set the elevation of the sprinkler to match my ceiling height of 8 foot. Place the sprinkler into the ceiling plan as desired and of course you can use the standard Revit editing tools to make adjustments. In the project browser, under the family and sprinkler selection, you can see that the sprinkler has been added to the project and can be used in any other section of this project. Looking at the inserted sprinkler in a section view, you can confirm that the elevation has been set properly. Here I have an 8 foot ceiling and the sprinkler deflector is also at 8 feet. The insertion point of our sprinkler family is the deflector as a default. The sprinkler families are designed so that we can easily set the sprinkler to match the ceiling height and make simple adjustments as necessary. For this example, I know I need to be at least one and an eighth inch below the ceiling. In the sprinkler properties, we have a sprinkler offset value that can be entered to make that adjustment. For simplicity, I'm just entering one inch at this point. The sprinkler is adjusted, but notice that the Revit offset is still at eight feet. This is very handy in case the ceiling is changed by the architect to 9 feet, for example. Simply change the Revit offset and the adjustment for the ceiling clearance moves as well and there's no need to do the math of elevating the sprinkler to 8 foot, 10 and 7 eighths inches. It's much easier to just match the ceiling height. Now you can choose to show the recessed escutcheon if desired simply by checking that parameter box. That is an on-off option. And that's how you load a specific sprinkler into your Revit project model using the Sprinkler Selector application. Thanks for watching.